Technical issues with BC Adewale. This is critical issues with BC Adewale. Today I'm bringing another critical issue your way and I want you to take your time to watch this particular video. After watching the video, I'll be back with you to talk about this issue and tell us how to go about it. So this woman allegedly said that she's the daughter of a general overseer. She got married in church um, and everything happened perfectly in church with their marriage. And they had a courtship, the whole works. Getting into the marriage with this man, she then found out that he didn't have a penis. He didn't have a manhood. Then, it's, according to her, it's been three months. They do everything else but the real deal. And the man says he was born like that. He was born without a manhood. And, um, for children. And then, so for children, he was he advised that they should get adoption. They should try to adopt kids because at least he gives her some sort of um, satisfaction in other ways except the way God had intended it to be. Anyways, she now came out on the videos crying for help because her family is insisting she must stay in that marriage because, hey, he, her father is a general overseer. She's not going to... <laughs> kind of going to disgrace the family by leaving a marriage that has been widely celebrated, you know, uh, in the church. Um, she's, she's confused because according to her, she's been in marriage right now and nothing is happening. She feels frustrated. You are welcome back. I believe you have watched the video. Uh, the man got married to a pastor's uh, daughter, got married to a man in church, and the man has no manhood. Wow, and the question in the mouth of everybody is, what should the lady do? What should the lady do? Now, let me say this one frankly to us. There was no marriage. There was a wedding, but there was no marriage. There was no marriage. Because this is based on this. I would never sit down here and allow a daughter of somebody to suffer because of the sinfulness of the son of somebody. What makes marriage apart from the vow is the right to sleep together legally with the approval of God, approval of the government, approval of the parent. Now they can sleep together in fact, the only thing they were, they were not supposed to be doing together as a Christian was that they must not be sleeping together. Now that they are married, she's, she was looking forward to it and she wasn't doing it before wedding. That's the reason why she didn't know, which she did perfectly. I give kudos to that young lady that she still separated herself in this world of worldliness. Now, no pastor should hold her into ransom and say, oh, she should remain in that kind of relationship, the kind, the kind, that kind of marriage that is a cross. No, that's not what the Bible called cross. So, whosoever is in position to, to resolve that issue, should know that that marriage is based on deceit and it must never stand. I know the father is in dilemma and say, oh, I, I don't want to lay bad precedent and everything. No, you are not laying bad precedent. As a pastor, explain to the church, if you are able to see this video, play it to everybody, let it be known that that marriage does not stand before God. It was based on total deceit. He doesn't have manhood. What makes marriage without manhood? What makes the marriage? And <laughs> some people are even impotent, maybe secondary impotent, and but this time around he doesn't have at all. And he knew, his parent knew, his uh, sibling knew, maybe some friends knew that he doesn't have. So what are we advising this thing is brought to my table is there was no marriage in the first instance i think i've been able to speak to you today please have this understanding that anytime people want to get married 
there must be total openness if there's any sickness in your life it must be opened if there's anything in your life it must be opened but this one uh, is too deep is too deep to base a marriage on it is too deep is too deep to base a marriage on it so people that have been talking to me that what is my opinion about this that's my opinion about it and that is how I'm supposed to be as an expert that is what I'm putting on the table thank you for joining me please don't forget to uh, join our 31 days married boot camp go to familiarcourses.com to join the family boot camp quickly and transform your marriage forever and subscribe to our youtube channel at bc at diwali and put on the, the notification thank you see you tomorrow now you can make your marriage sweeter stronger better tantalizing and more romantic by joining our 31 days married makeover boot camp where you're going to watch 34 uncommon videos on intimacy finance sex romance and lots more that will turn your marriage around forever Quickly go to familiarcourses.com and start the journey of fruitful, blissful and successful marriage now. You get it at 75% discount if you get the course today.